Eyewitness Sports right now. Ellen Patton girls varsity basketball battled Frankfurt Schuyler tonight. It was the Golden Knights' first game of the year. The Maroon Knights' second game coming off a loss. In the fourth quarter, Holland Patton with the lead and the ball. Good passing. Senior Hayden Roberts makes the layup. 38-25 Golden Knights. And just after that, passing on the outside right side again. Junior Hannah Corgan to Roberts this time in for two more. She led the team with 17. Holland Patton leads by 15. But the Maroon Knights did not put down their swords just yet. Sophomore Michaela Jones from the key up and away for three. And then the final seconds of quarter four, Jones out to Hannah Bannis. Open look beyond the arc in for three. She led Frankfurt Schuyler with 15 points. But the last minute push is not enough. Holland Patton wins the fight of the Knights, 48-34. In boys basketball, Herkimer hosted Adirondack tonight. Back-to-back -back games for the Magicians. Wildcats Sam Kogel gets to the points under the net early in the quarter three. Herkimer leads 35-18. Shortly after, senior Jordan Lenaw under the basket, 39-20 Magicians. Turnover by Lenaw. Herkimer brings it all the way up, and Lenaw with the basket puts them up even further. And the Magicians keep pulling away. Senior Matt Gallagher hits a three. When things are working, they seem to keep on going. Herkimer uses their tricks. The Magicians win 66-32. Other boys basketball games tonight. West Canada Valley beat Waterville 92-62. West Canada's Braden Shepherdson, Andrew Soren, and Jaden Beam each scored two more than 20 points. Dollsville dominated Poland 66-19. The Blue Devils Tanner Zanuck and um, uh, Elijah Morris both had double doubles. Other girls games: Adirondack East passed Sequoia Valley 68-12. The Wildcats Cam Roberts and Bell Cramble scored in the 20s and had double doubles. Cooperstown reversed Little Falls 53-35. The Hawkeyes' Piper Seaman led with 17 points. In professional sports, NFL Week 14 kicked off tonight with the Cowboys at the Bears. Dallas scored first with a touchdown, but the game opened up when Chicago scored two touchdowns and a field goal in quarter two. Bears quarterback Mitchell Trubisky has three passing touchdowns. He also ran one into the end zone himself. The Bears controlled from there and currently lead 31-21 with less than two minutes in quarter four. Utica Comets forward Cole Lind has recently started taking faceoffs for the team. And head coach Trent Cole said just a few weeks ago that Lind's ability to put the puck to his own team has helped spark the Comets' power play. It's now fourth best in the AHL, by the way. But Lind also currently leads the team in penalty minutes, which take him off the ice. Lind says he has to balance being assertive while also trying to stay out of the penalty box. But that playing gritty is just part of his game. I think it's an, uh, an easy way for me to get in the game is when I'm uh, playing out. Uh, in, outside of the whistle whistle play, uh, you know, just getting a guy, in a guy's ear, or, you know, rough and stuff up after the whistle. Uh, I think that's just part of my game. It helps me get into the game, and I think uh, I'm at my best when I when I'm trying to get in other guys' ears. We want our young players to be involved in hockey games. That doesn't mean uh, you know, it doesn't mean you have to fight. Doesn't mean you have to be taking penalties, etc. But when you're more involved with the game, uh, mentally, physically, you're vested in the game and you get, usually get better results. The Comets are looking for some of those good results tomorrow against the Bridgeport Sound Tigers at 7 p.m. But now that's all for sports. Be sure to check out cnyhomepage.com for your top sports stories and other sports scores. Here's my Witness News after the break. Just stay friendly and stay tuned.